Bantay and Tagpi by Roderick Matril Aguirre. Bantay is looking at his collection of bones. He is counting them. Hmm, I wonder why some of my bones are missing. Tagpi arrives running, calling, and shouting to Bantay. Tagpi tumbles down on Bantay's collection of bones. Bantay! Bantay! Ouch! Bantay wants to laugh but stops himself so as not to hurt Tagpi's feelings. Tagpi notices Bantay's collection of bones and tells Bantay, What a huge collection of bones you've got here! Bantay greets Tagpi. Tagpi bounces up and down around Bantay, inviting him to play catch the ball. Come on, Bantay! Let's play catch the ball! It will be fun! Okay, Tagpi, I will just get the ball inside the house. Bantay agrees. They both play catch the ball. Bantay and Tagpi play with the ball on the grass field. Tagpi tells Bantay that he is tired and wants to take a nap. I'm going home now, Bantay. I am already tired and I need to take a nap. Okay, you go then. I will just get the ball. Bantay bounces off to get the ball at the far end of the grass field. Then, he runs back to his house with the ball in his mouth. He drops the ball when he sees that one more big bone is missing. Who is getting my bones? Meanwhile, Tagpi buries the bone he took from Bantay's collection. Then, he goes to the front of his master's house. He sleeps in his cute dog basket. He curls inside his new blanket. Tagpi awakens because a stray dog is tagging at his new blanket. The stray dog runs away with his new blanket. Tagpi cries out loud. Bantai from the other house hears him. How could anyone get things that are not theirs? Bantai consoles Tagpi. Some dogs do. Probably, the same dog took the bones from my collection. Bantai courageously said, Let's go find him and get the things he took from us. Tagpi is about to say something about Bantai's missing bones, but Bantai urges him to run with him to look for the stray dog. Bantai and Tagpi look everywhere for the stray dog but fail to find him. Bantay and Tagpi slowly walk back to their homes. Bantay notices Tagpi still crying. Bantay cheers up Tagpi. It's okay Tagpi. Your master will understand what happened to your blanket. I am sure soon enough you will have a new blanket. I am no longer crying about that. I am the one who took some of your bones. You have a lot of bones in your collection, so I thought you will not miss one or two bones. If you want some of my bones, all you have to do is ask. After all, what are friends for? Bantai explains, I know that now, I hope you can forgive me. But B says sorry. Bantai answers with a big smile. Accepted. Bantai walks home with the B. Bouncing up and down around him.